people who are making instruments need to consider when they're making an instrument? So they have kind of a blend of the melody they're making and the rhythm. And then when they make the instrument, they have to know like if the sound is really big and small. Like if we have something like this, it's kind of big. It might be broken from here if it's too so hard. But this one has a little small one and the tape is kind of like this. So nothing's gonna happen. And they have to think of the melody and the rhythm and the so this is my instrument that I created. Um, so I learned it off the uh, drum set. So these ones have a lower pitch, and these two are supposed to bring the E pitch. So when you hit them, it creates a noise. But these ones are a lot, a lot more um, high pitch, which means they're lower. So they, you can't really hear them. But I just get my pencil out, and then I'll show you. And then this one, that one is lower, and this one uh, higher, and this one is lower. And then this one is kind of like one of the things where you hit with your foot on the drums, except it has stuff inside it, so you can either hit the rim or this thing. And then these ones are much smaller, so I usually play with those ones because you can hear them much more than this, this, or this.